Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll learn about the reasons for high engine oil consumption and how we can avoid high engine oil consumption and save your engine and also about the recommended engine oil consumption. There are three uh, reasons for engine oil consumption. One is uh, oil leaking, that's a visible oil leaking that you can directly see uh, due to a crack or something or a seal failure. Directly oil is leaking off. That's a reason for engine oil consumption. That's very easy to identify. And the other one is the oil leaking which is invisible, the oil leaking happening inside the engine which result in the oil to get burned off. So that's the significant part that we will be discussing about today and that you have to learn about it. So uh, oil uh, burned off because the oil gets in contact with the exhaust or gets in the inlet manifold. So when the compression happens it burns off. Uh, let's see what are the reasons for that. The first one is the piston ring failure. When the piston rings get failed, uh, you can see this is the piston ring over here. We have the piston here. We have the engine oil here in the crankcase and this is the inlet manifold on uh, the combustion chamber over here. So what happens is that when the piston rings get fail, fail uh, the oil can get into contact from here to the combustion chamber and as a result of it, it can burn here and that result to the failure or uh, uh, more engine oil consumption because the oil gets into the combustion chamber and gets burned off due to the failure of the piston rings. And also the piston rings can fail uh, due to dust entry, more wear and tear happens to the piston rings. That also results in more uh, engine oil consumption. The second one is the valve uh, stem seal failure. So if the valve stem seal gets failed, you can see here we have the valves uh, all the um, inlet manifold and if the valve uh, seals get failed in the head side we are getting lubricating oil so if the seals fail the oil can get into the inlet manifold and can enter into the uh, combustion chamber and that oil directly comes in contact with the hot air and it get burned off so that's how the valve stem failures are also can result in the oil to get into the uh, inlet manifold and combustion chamber resulting in it to burn off so that's the second main reason for is burning off so and the, the same way it can get into the exhaust manifold also when the valve stem is failed. So the exhaust hot air also burns the uh, engine oil. And uh, the other reason happening is the compression leak. So uh, the compression leak is something uh, very common can happen because uh, when the hot air gets in contact with the uh, uh, oil, there's a there's a burning of oil happens because the engine oil uh, when it gets in contact with the hot air it directly burns. So compression leak is also resulting. Uh, in high engine oil consumption because it directly burns off. And the third uh, technical part of it is a turbocharger seal failure. If you are using a turbocharged engine, it is having high speed. The turbocharger is rotating at high speed, so there is lubrication going into the turbocharger. And if the turbocharger seals get failed, what happens is that this uh, engine oil can get into um, the system, the inlet manifold or the exhaust side and gets in contact with the hot air and gets burned off. So that's another reason if the uh, turbocharger seals get failed, uh, instrument can directly burn off. Uh, then the uh, fourth one is air filter block. Air filter block is not commonly happening because if scheduled maintenance are done proper time, air filter block will not happen. But in case if there is an air filter block, the suction will be very heavy and uh, more suction will happen and that gives a pressure uh, inside towards the crankcase and it will result in the oil to be sucked into the uh, inlet manifold because we are not able to suck uh, air properly so that suction pressure uh, will uh, increase inside uh, the engine itself which will suck some of the oil into the uh, inlet manifold or the combustion chamber which will result in the oil to directly burn off so that's the reason and uh, head gasket failures also occasionally happen which result in the oil which is lubricating the head gets into the inlet manifold and the compression uh, over here in the uh, combustion chamber which result in uh, the oil to get burned off. So these are some of the technical reasons that can happen. Moreover, if you are doing uh, preventive maintenance, uh, timely oil service, this can be reduced. And as for the recommended uh, uh, criteria of the manufacturers or by air right, saying that we can have a 0.2 to 0.3 percentage of uh, oil consumption uh, against the fuel consumed. That means that if you use one liter of fuel, that means thousand milliliters of fuel, you can uh, burn over two milliliters to three milliliters of oil against fuel. That is, two point two to point three percentage of fuel consumed can be the consumption of oil, which is can be considered as recommended. If, if, if you are getting more than a point two percentage, it is on the border stage, and if you're getting more than three, that's dangerous. You have to directly or see to it that if it is more than two, you should consult a uh, specialist of an engine specialist or a mechanic so that it can be sorted out. There might be 
an issue with the piston rings or the wire stem seal or the turbocharger seal or there should be an air filter blockage or something happening to the engine which is resulting in that. Uh, so when more engine oil consumption happens, the lubrication reduces, the engine lubrication reduces, the chance for the engine to get seized is very fast, the engine seizure can happen, overheating can happen, engine seizure can happen. So this is a very dangerous disease, the engine oil, high engine oil consumption is a very dangerous disease for the engine because it costs you more by putting in more oil into the engine and also that can result in the failure of the engine itself. So make sure that you attend it and there's one uh, visible uh, thing if a high engine oil consumption happening there will be blue fumes uh, uh, in the exhaust stream if you see the exhaust you can see that there are blue fumes coming from the exhaust stream because the oil is directly getting burned so the oil gets burned blue fumes will be coming so immediately if you see blue fumes identify that it is the oil getting burned off immediately contact an authorized service center and get your engine a repair so I I believe you got some idea about uh, the reasons for high engine oil uh, consumption and how dangerous it is and how to identify it is and what's recommended engine oil consumption 0.2 percentage of the fuel consumed so that's all about today's video if you like the video please click the like button do drop a comment please subscribe or click the subscribe button for getting more updates thanks for watching this video have a great day